I can still see you. Can I help you, Miss Camera? Um, maybe. Why do I got white floaty thing? Where are they coming from? So I thought it would be cool to list all the things we hate about this place. <laughs> it would make me feel better. Come, lay beside me and complain. Oops. And hopefully absorb this cold air because I swear I am burning up. Well, I radiate heat, so I don't know what your thought is there. Oh, well, way there then. What do it's we hate? The time story, right? What do we hate about this place? It's too small, and we have we don't have enough storage space. Two out of three fans don't work. <laughs> yeah, two out of three ceiling fans don't work. No central air. The front one will like decapitate you if you turn it on. It'll try to fly off the mm -hmm. roof. This one just doesn't do anything. And they promised us that they would replace it, and they never did. They promised us they would fix the windows that were cracked. They never did. There's a lot of promises they've made to do maintenance and never did. They did fix that one tiny thing with the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they glued the linoleum down when we ripped it up with the washer-dryer. Um... The, the small space for the washer dryer we can't get two separate units we have to have a combo we, we, with no vent even if we had the space there's no vent for a dryer yeah there's the, hookups for a washer the tub no is really narrow um the wiring and the plumbing in this place is like ancient the we had to replace the kitchen faucet paneling. yeah oh god <laughs> um the lighting is terrible the lighting is terrible God, we're surrounded by trees it's horrible the sun's in the front of the house there's People's only two bedrooms favorite thing to do in this neighborhood is sit in their car and play their bass for a few hours oh my god I can't stand that it like rattles the house the smell from the creek and the ditch beside us it has become like sewage for the entire neighborhood yeah it smells like a dead a animal over there or something um people constantly dumping stuff either in our yard or in that patch of grass beside the ditch like that Since treadmill we passed by that one time downhill everybody's garbage blows this, this way, way. So when they put their trash out on trash day, most of it winds up in our front yard. Yeah. And it makes us look like we're trashy people. The squirrels, the cats, the raccoons. Squirrel There's so many Steve. wild animals that get in our yard. Squirrel Steve purposely throws the trash. Yeah. We've he's, seen him. He's a jerk. Um, the neighbors are constantly in our business. And the lady next door... Well, she's gotten better, but when they first moved in, it was like arguing loudly and stuff. It was really annoying. She's gotten better. Um, the simple concept that her family owns this property is a little weird to me. <laughs> it kind of weirds me out. And her friend or whoever that keeps coming over that like yelled at our doorbell camera like I'm gonna cut off my camera because a stranger told me to mm -hmm. like really no I don't think so it's just rude there's no privacy there's no space of our own to just like go outside and chill unless we want to get ate by mosquitoes or deal with wasps or have the neighbor's kids running around the yard or like seriously it's there's no privacy there's no yard we've got trees and we've got that little patch in the side mm -hmm. that's it Ooh. yep the people on the ATVs and stuff that go up and down the road gunning their engines 
for hours at a time. That really drives me nuts sometimes. Like, I just want peace and quiet, and I have to listen to that. Not enough bedrooms. Mm -hmm. I have no space for, like, company to come over. So I haven't, I've had, like, Leona come over. That's it, <laughs> really. The kitchen's tiny. The kitchen is tiny. Um, no, when we get food delivered and stuff, we literally have to say what color door we have and what door wreath we have because there's no lettering on the duplexes. So nobody ever knows how to deliver anything to us. And we end up with other people's mail and stuff like that, or they end up with ours. It's really annoying. The random mail for people that have, like, never lived here. Or lived here a very long time ago, and I'm pretty sure they changed their address, and... Our mailman's pretty lazy. Our trash people are pretty lazy in this area. The fireworks lately have been an issue. We've been listening to fireworks for, like, a month now. They're still going off. I, I went to Food Lion tonight to get energy drinks for, like, a couple days. And fireworks were going off still. I, I, I heard them in the, while I was in the parking lot. Um, I think honestly the inconvenience of having my ex's family so close. I mean, it's great to be able to just drop off the boys down the street, but I'd rather not. You know, and I'd rather not be so close to dealing with all of that. The drama that happens, the break-ins and stuff. There's a lot of drama that happens in this area. I'd like to be rid of that too. Um. But yeah, the amount of bugs over here because of the trees and the trash and everything, it's like spiders and wasps and bees and we've got dragonflies like crazy. The flies alone, the mosquitoes, it's just ridiculous. The fear of leaving something outside and somebody's going to mess with it. Mm -hmm. By the way, my fairy garden, my little rock is broken completely now. I had cracked it in half, but now it's in four pieces. So I got to throw that away. I'm sure the fairies will still like it. <laughs> right. Um... Yeah, all my plants died too. Did you see my cilantro? It has killed over now, officially. Well, that was a... I tried. <laughs> um, I can't leave anything decent sitting on the front porch. Other people will sit in your chair. Mm -hmm. And they break it. I think I broke the chair, <laughs> but yeah. Michael breaks it. But yeah, they mess with your stuff. They People stand in front of our door. Like, that's not creepy at all, let me tell you. I only get like half a porch. <laughs> um, it's a lot of stuff wrong with this area. It really is. How do you think you're going to feel when we get out of this area? I'll probably feel a lot better. Yeah. Even if you've got a commute to work and stuff? Yeah, it'll be alright. It's a company gas car. Well, how much further would it be? Because you have to drive, what, like 30 minutes anyway to get there from here. Yeah. 
so it'd be only another, I'd say, the area I'm looking. I don't know. I would need my phone for GPS to see. Another 20 minutes, maybe. I forget how far it is to the office and where I work at. Mm. That's okay. So aside from the commute, would there be any concerns as far as moving? Aside from having to pack up all of this crap all over again? <laughs> I mean, my, my biggest concern, as um, petty as it sounds, is the ability to have decent phone signal in the area and internet but I mean everywhere a you lot can of our, the stuff that much. our house functions on internet a lot of the stuff we do and so I think that's one of my big worries is going somewhere being like awesome we got this new place new two year lease no internet I think that's a minor inconvenience compared to all of this You know? I mean, you were just saying if I had any concerns. I mean, that's really the only yeah. concern I have. Because I mean, if we go somewhere that doesn't have cable internet, we have to get satellite internet. I, I'm not going to be able to hook up our cameras. Gavin can't play the Xbox. I can't play the computer. You'll have to only save yourself to upload to YouTube during the free hours of the data, or we're gonna blow right past. Because normally it's like a 20 gig data limit, which is absolutely nothing. I'm pretty sure they've made improvements in that by now. It's the 21st century. Mm -hmm. This was like a year ago when I was talking to somebody who had satellite internet, so. Horrible. I've never heard of it. I just pray that wherever we move can get cable internet. Mm. You should probably look into that then. Mm -hmm. Cause we're moving. Well, the one place we looked, according to the website isn't always true um Sentry and Chantel are out there I don't know about I didn't look up for the other place yet um but the website might say it but it's always better to call them cause they'll have their service regions marked out and updated so they're like yeah I'm about to move to this address can I get service and they'll tell you yes or no probably call them tomorrow and see. Yeah, you're gonna have to. But, I mean, both of them that we're looking at are three bedrooms. Both of them have more space. One of them has central air. But the other one does have working fans. So. And a uh barn yeah in a barn so a we have more storage and no neighbors. no neighbors beautiful view in front how would you feel if you got that house i'd, I'd be okay with it yeah you'd just be okay <laughs> i miss ac we have ac we can get bigger unit or a floor unit Well, you're going to have to figure it out because we got approved for the house. That light is really bright. I'm not, not getting a reaction out of you, so I guess I'm moving without you. <laughs> I 
Abba, you can come too. God. <laughs> oh no. It's kind of noisy. We'll have space in the front room to put up the playpen at least. Hopefully the hutch fits in the closet because I didn't measure anything. <laughs> That's going to be really weird if it doesn't. So yeah. Yeah, I like, I like both of them so far. Well, I've got to do the deposit on the first house tomorrow. Oh. So she finally messaged back? Uh-huh. Oh. Cool. That's what I was saying. Awesome. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta let Ref know. I gotta put in PTO. So First week of move. August, um, I told Mom that we could start moving stuff. Awesome. Yep. So, I was thinking for tomorrow for dinner. I know you gotta work, so. Hopefully you're home at a decent time. Oh. I was gonna do, I was gonna pull those steaks, those sirloins, and I got some mashed cauliflower, and I got um, sugar-free keto brownie cups. And it's uh, a mixed veggie tray, hmm. but I already have hummus, so I was like, it'd be cool just to celery and hummus, I guess. Yeah. To kind of celebrate when you get home, because during the day I'm I gotta go do the deposit thing. I don't know how to message the other guy and tell him I'm not coming to look at the house after I've already rescheduled like twice. I'll tell him I got a flat tire.
your eyes. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.